Hi guys, Professor Gustavo here. Today let's take a look at this awesome sweep by Lucas Lepre against Kainan Duarte at the 2019 Europeans. So much good stuff going on here, so many details that I want to break it down for you guys. Beautiful transition from De La Riva to X guard. If you are a De La Riva guard player, you're going to love this transition. So let's start from the standing position here to see which grips Lucas is using. He has elbow grip and collar grip, traditional judo grips for the standing position. He's going to pull guard already shooting his De La Riva on Kainan's leg. And he's going to try to elevate, since he has that elbow and collar grip, he's going to try to elevate and go for a balloon sweep. But Kainan with a great balance defends it. And now Lucas uses his De La Riva hook to adjust the position, still with the collar and elbow grip. Kainan is going to start trying to extend. Lucas is going to use his right foot on the mat to off-balance Kainan to his right side since he's controlling this lead, right? He's going to drive his hip with the hook, with the hand on the collar and controlling this lead, trying to sweep Kainan to his right side. But again, Kainan with a great balance defends that sweep. And now Lucas Lepre starts transitioning to a more classic De La Riva grip. He has the hand on the ankle, his right hand still there on Kainan's collar, and Kainan is stuffing his foot on the ground so Lucas cannot step on his thigh, which is the classic De La Riva position. As soon as Kainan starts pushing the De La Riva leg down, Lucas is going to start underhooking his ankle here, Kainan's ankle. As he pushes the De La Riva down, it just feeds his leg to Lucas hand. He pushes, Lucas grab his own shin and he's now playing this type of De La Riva, underhook De La Riva. Now that underhook grip is gonna allow Lucas to lift Kainan's leg off the mat. He's gonna turn all the way to his right side, touching his right shoulder on the mat, using the collar grip also to drive Kainan to the other side lifting his elbow off the mat, lifting Kainan's foot off the mat, and also using a hook here at Kainan's hip to also help to drive Kainan all the way to the other side. Collar grip, hook, and lifting the elbow. At this moment, see, the, this grip puts a lot of pressure on Kainan's knee. Kainan's knee is pointing down and in, forcing him to drop to his other knee, otherwise it's he can blow his knee out. There's a lot of pressure on the knee because of that grip. So Lucas land in that position, turn all the way to the other side, elevating Kainan's leg. And now half of the sweep is already done because if this leg is up, all Kainan's weight is on his left leg. All he has to do is circle this leg on the inside, get his X guard, push him away and get up. That's his plan, but Kainan, of course, is not going to make that easy for him. He tries to bring the leg on the inside. See that Kainan drops his knee low towards the ground, blocking Lucas' entry with his leg. So he jams his leg. He cannot bring his leg in. He's going to go back to the position. And he's going to start now pushing Kainan far away a little more to create more space. He's starting to control Kainan's grip here. We're going to see later that he's going to use this slip control to break Kainan's grip on his leg. Right? Kainan is controlling his leg, making it harder for him to swing his leg on the inside. So eventually later he's going to break this grip here. We're going to see in a minute. But now Luke is going to push Kainan away. He's going to move. He's pushing away, he's going to bring his foot in front of Kainan's thigh. And he's going to start pushing him away. He's going to push away, extending Kainan's leg completely. Now giving way more room for him to maneuver his leg. Much harder for Kainan to drop his knee down now, since he's all stretched. Right? All that Lucas has to do is bring his leg, his foot here, in between Kainan's arm and leg. He's going to bring the leg there, swinging inside and get the axe guard. Kainan has his grip on Lucas' shin, which is not the best because Lucas can still maneuver his foot. If Kainan was controlling his ankle, Lucas' ankle would be a much better grip or at least dropping his elbow at his thigh here, closing all this space. 
Lucas wants to maneuver his foot right there in that space, so Kaino is giving him that. Now Lucas controls the bottom knee, changes the grip from the collar to the bottom knee there because he might sense that Kaino is trying to get up and if Kaino gets up and touches his foot on the mat, he has to start all over, right? So he wants his foot off the mat, he doesn't want Kaino getting up, so he controls the knee, keeping that knee down, pushing and pulling, maintaining his leg down. As now he's just waiting for the opportunity. He pushes and pull, pushes, he pushes and pull, trying to distract Kaina because Kaina is still controlling his leg. Kaina is not having it. Lucas wants to bring his foot right there on the side again, but he's doing a good job. Lucas tries to distract him again, push and pull, push and pull, kind of saying that he wants to spin under and maybe take his back. Kaina is not buying that. Eventually, he's gonna shoot his foot right here on this space shoots the foot right there. Now Kainan is still controlling Lucas' pants, so it's not that easy to circle that foot. He's dropping his knee as well, trying to close that space. But now that Lucas is stretching him, pushing Kainan's leg away, there is a little more space for him. He starts maneuvering his foot and circling his foot and he gets there inside. Still not all the way to bring to the X guard position because Kainan is still controlling his pants. So he's gonna just start pulling this leaf now. He controlled during that during as he was moving his leg on the inside, he controlled Kainan's leaf. So now he's gonna start kicking his leg up, kicking his leg up to break the grip. Similar to a lasso when you circle your arm around and break the grip from this leaf. He's doing essentially the same. He finds a better angle, he goes flat to kick his leg straight up and break the grip. Now he is good. Now he gets in position. He immediately lets go the grips on the pants and goes back to the collar as he inserts the X guard hook here. Now he's ha halfway swept, right? He's gonna extend his legs, lift Kainan's leg off the mat, is extending, stiffing his arm against Kainan's chest using that collar grip to come up to his feet, right? He come up to his feet Collar control is gonna pull him down, he's lifting Kainan's leg with his elbow grip and he's gonna foot sweep for the axe guard sweep. Great technique by Lucas Lepre.